Hey guys, my name is Anup and in this video, we are going to learn how to make a bakery e-commerce shop with customized option. And for example, I have taken one product example of chocolate cake and you want some options like write your custom name, whatever name your user will write, you have to write on the cake and then deliver to particular address. So suppose uh, the cake has the cost of uh, 400 rupees and if user wants some extra chocolate you can charge 50 rupees and if user needs some extra set of candles you can charge additional 50 rupees and if some want some one one set extra caps you can also charge 20 rupees kind of this add-ons things you can see so at the end of this video you will be able to create this kind of things i'm going to explain coming next four to five minutes so stay with us so let's get started so first of all you have to log in and then you have to create a product like I have WooCommerce installed I am creating a product chocolate cake and in the chocolate cake have a basic pricing of 400 rupees right so I am just doing I am just publishing this particular product and then I am just going on the URL once I am going on the URL I am getting this particular chocolate cake and I can do add to cart is this particular and the card will get it but there is no add-on options so what add-ons options we have expected is the first thing we need to give right here custom name so we'll copy this and there is no charge of this so we, we will go into our admin panel and then we'll go on the plugin section in this plugin sections we need to in activate product add-ons so we'll activate this uh, basically this is a paid feature uh, given by the WooCommerce you can go on this particular URL it's $49 per website so what you can do I'll put the link in the description you can purchase from there and if you find any difficulty you can contact with us we can help you out so let's uh, after installing this you need to uh, go in the WooCommerce uh, in the global add-ons so there is two basically options one is the global add-ons whatever add-ons you will add from here will be reflected to on each website and you can control by the category so uh, i have actually created one so i have deleted that because we are going to create on the product basis so i'll go on the product i'll edit this chocolate cake in this chocolate cake if you have installed that particular plugin you will get an option of add-on at the bottom so you will add group new and then you will write custom name so you can write the description so user can understand what will happen with this particular name uh, so this name will be visible over the cake so defaultable is nothing it's free and then you can save this Once you save this, you can view your product. Once, once you view this product, one second, I think I have done a mistake in taking the type. So I'll just click on this. Okay, so from here, I need to write any test. Oh, 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 oh. text area custom input zero prices to zero write your text oh. write your good name then I'll update this So from here I can write a name let's say I'm writing Ravi and I'm just doing add to cart so details will be saved according to this and the custom name will be the Ravi so this is the thing that I have taken the name and I'm just removing from the cart and I'm going back on the shop there is one product next thing that we need to write this you want some extra chocolate and then we just want option yes or no or you just want a checkbox so what we can do uh, we can back uh, to particular page uh, let's say edit this product 
and just will go on the global add-ons uh, so see uh, here there's a different types of uh, inputs things you want, want to take so I'm just doing one add-on in this uh, right now I want a checkbox so I can just want a checkbox this checkbox the new name is uh, please select add-ons uh, you can say okay we can leave it just blank so we want to extra chocolate and we are charging 50 rupees then we just do plus uh, for extra candle set this is extra candle set we are again charging 50 rupees then again one birthday cap then we are charging something like that is 20 rupees so this is 20 and we will move next to what we are doing for knife knife is 10, 10 rupees 20 rupees i think it's 20 no it's 10 okay it's 10 rupees so you have saved all so they will come under one section and once i'll save this everything and I'll back to my view product and once I'll go view product so I'll have an option so I'll click on let's say 50 rupees and I'll go 50 rupees so see you and see over here what is going on the base price of the product is 400 rupees so it will be 450 and I want some extra candles it will be 50 50 100 and I want a one cap extra so I can do add to cart and can go and I can go on the view card and on view card I whatever the extra options I have selected will come over here and I can press proceed to check out then I need to find the some billing address let's say I'm writing my name my email ID my company name and then the India then the house number is anything let's say 114 apartment to be one four third floor and let's see Dwarka mode Dwarka mode New Delhi Delhi and the pin code is one one zero zero five nine the phone is seven eight three five four and I need random this email ID this is my email ID the additional notes I can put and then proceed to people I don't want to proceed with PayPal. This is oh. okay. So we can do one thing uh, to check in the back end. We can go quickly and we can enable the payment gateway of cash on delivery because um, for PayPal I needed either testing credentials or something else to do a quick uh, testing. I can enable the cash on delivery. I enabled the cash delivery. I just try to reload the page and then I just write in the unknown and was the cash on delivery. The, I just I'll activate the cash on delivery. I'll unknown and this Kumar and the company name is optional. Let's leave it and then the phone number is required a little bit and then just place the order. Once we'll place the orders and order has been received and once we'll go back on the back end on the back end in the orders woocommerce and orders we will get one order and in one order so we'll click on this at the back end you will get the extra details over here like user has already selected the add-ons for the extra chocolate for the extra set of candles and the full extra birthday caps so this is how you can make any customized thing either you are working with a bakery either you are working with a t-shirt like you want some extra options with that so this plugin is so awesome and i have just tried for one one of my clients and i have delivered a very good solution to him if you need anything related to your customized solutions you can contact us details are given in the description or you just need any help and you want to do do it yourself and you're facing some problems you can post your problem in the comment sections we will surely reply you thanks bye bye and make sure don't forget to hit like button if you really liked it and don't forget to subscribe thank you